hello everyone. So um, we found the place. We, oui? Shaif. We found the place to serve the wine. That's the place here. My wife is just in front. Of. That's the place. In fact, it's funny because it's very close to where we live. And once I found out about this place, I even went on the rooftop once uh, because here is is the. Um, some kind of place where they get expropriate and they gave them this maybe 10 years ago and i saw this place was good why because um these are modern buildings um it's not as you can see it's a little bit higher so it means it's not so humid you're not at the at the, the the sea level you know um since uh, this is a small district, you don't have that many shops. So the the only way for them to run the place on the basement, on the ground floor, would be like kind of place like hairdresser or uh, just storage room. So I thought that was a good idea to come here. And in the end, uh, we came here and there was only one place left. Uh, however, of course, the rent, and this is the place where they manage this, this whole district. However, the rent is not, um, is not cheap but it's not uh, so expensive it's not so expensive it's kind of difficult as i explained yesterday because on the one side you really need to find um, the place that that will be not too expensive that will be on the ground floor on, on the first floor um, where you have enough space to storage something uh, that you have some access for the you have some access for the trucks because when you get delivered the products, you have a truck who comes here. Let me try it. No, I'm worried it breaks. I wanted to show you the view from here, but I'm a bit worried, you see? Ah, so you have some access for the trucks from the road. Uh, it shouldn't be an old place because if it's an old place like this one, it's, uh, it's probably will be humid, it probably will break down at some point. And, uh, what else? Um, so all this, uh, if it's a place uh, where you have the possibility to have shops and the rent will be very high. And uh, here, so here is a good, uh, it's a good place. Also, there's something that you need to be wary of. And my wife yesterday, she told me, ah, you don't understand China, you don't understand how it is. The thieves, the thieves, you know, as uh, I always tell you, China is a very safe country, but you have thieves everywhere uh, and people who can steal you everywhere and she told me as soon as you have a place where you storage Chinese people are very wary because they say oh ho, ho, uh, it's uh, the thief I can get stolen I can get stolen by the thief uh, so I'm also worried about this you see and even here even you have some place available you still have uh, some shops so it's uh, that's and in fact, I will just show you a little bit the place. So that's why, in fact, I, even I told my wife, hey, look, we can put some advertisements. So even we are going to storage the wine here, people who live nearby can still buy from us. But my wife said, no, no way. Don't put any advertisement here. If you put advertisement, people will know what kind of things you storage here. You see, here you have many, many things that they use as storage space, but you have no idea what's inside and she say if you say you have wine inside then it will attract the thief and I'm not sure the good thing though is we are just next to this noodle place it means uh, it's a little bit safer so we are just a small one here on the right uh, now now um, I will probably invest uh, in some door and build up some uh, door because one door, we only have one door, that's not enough. Uh, if you storage uh, the wine, it's better to have like two, three, four doors, three doors, as to install three system of door, three lock. So even uh, they want to steal you, yes, they can break the three doors, but it will take them some time and make some noise and probably uh, they won't go through the trouble. Uh, I'm walking here a little bit and this morning, and see how sometimes I'm really not the lucky guy and uh, this morning I was bitten by a sting here just on the hand so you cannot see it but it's quite painful still and it was swollen and I really I never happened to me and I was like wow 
ah, really shot it. And then I saw, ah, you know, this huge, this huge uh, Asian bee or Asian stings. They are very big and uh, they bite me, bite me. What I want to show you here is the entrance of uh, this district. And I, that's the older part of the district. And uh, here it is, here it is. Mm. Yeah, so I'm glad I found the place. Uh, Again, uh, if you want to get some uh, wine from me, just uh, uh, contact me and add my WeChat. This is something that I wanted to tell you. I've always wanted to tell you in the videos. Just add my WeChat. And, uh, from now on, I'm going to write my WeChat below the videos. If you are interested in China, you must, you need a WeChat address. You must have a WeChat. So you need to add my WeChat. Um, because it's a way for us to keep in touch. I will do my best to answer you. I will do my best to help you. Uh, even though I, I need to apologize in advance, if maybe you write to me and then I don't answer you, don't worry. Um, it's because simply I, I receive so many messages and there's just so much to, to do every day. I'm trying to do the videos and uh, I'm also uh, taking care of my kid, doing the wine. Uh, sometimes I have, uh, I have one student or two that I'm uh, teaching. Uh, I'm, I'm giving some teaching to him. Then I am trying to go on also with the, the French teaching online. So that's, that's really a lot. That's really a lot. But add my WeChat and then I will add you to some WeChat groups. I know that you, you are coming to China. You need to be in some WeChat groups so you can have uh, the job ads, you will know some, you will get some job ads, you will get some work for foreigners, or maybe monkey jobs. Um, you will be able to discuss with other foreigners who are staying here in China. You will be able to, to discuss with them and, and have uh, some, um, and have uh, some uh, knowledge and you can question them if you need. Uh, so that's, that's uh, something that you need to do. Uh, if you are in China, you have, you must have the WeChat. The difficult part about WeChat is like, it's not like Facebook. It's not like Facebook or like Google Plus or like all these network. If you are on Facebook, if you are on Google Plus, things are really simple. Uh, you can simply, uh, you can simply go there and, um, and you can search for some group and say, oh, I need a group uh, about uh, Benjin because I'm going to Benjin. I need a group about uh, importing wine because I'm going to try and import wine. I need a group uh, for teaching uh, English in China because that's what I'm going to do and I'm looking for some job. Um, so you can search f uh, for, for all this, but on WeChat, that's not the case. You need someone to invite you. Um, so now I can invite you. And uh, I am not mean. <laughs> I am willing to invite others, and I like to help others. Uh, I ask some other YouTubers and some friends. I ask some of them, I ask them, please add me to your WeChat group. They say, <laughs> they laugh at me. They don't want to do it. You know, <laughs> that's how it is. I'm not going to say any names here. Some some YouTubers that I introduced to you, they are very kind. Some YouTubers here in China, they are not nice. And anyway, and some people here, they are not very nice. They just keep the things for themselves. They keep the thing for themselves, they don't share with you. Oh, well, that's their right. That's their right, but they are not very nice. Um, maybe I will tell you more one day if I really, really get pissed off, but that's not my way. Just uh, forget about it. <laughs> But uh, yes, just uh, just add my WeChat. So that's it, huh? You've seen it. Let me face the camera, and uh, and I'm uh, I'm quite happy. This is settled, and um, now I can really focus um, on uh, on the sales and uh, do my best 
The next step for me is to find a car. We need a car for the alcohol. Uh, because the idea is to offer the cheaper price and try to go there where you have the customers and try to meet the customers and use my foreign face. We have the good offer, we have the good price. So uh, this is what I want to try. I'm not sure if it's going to work because you never know. <laughs> you never know. But at least uh, I try it. At least I try it. Okay, okay. Donc, uh, I leave you for now and uh, au revoir les amis. Imagine. That's my wife. Okay, guys, so uh, see you next time. See you next time. And uh, by the way, now before we leave, maybe I can show you um, a little bit. Now I'm so talking I to my. I a new block oh. and I change it all. Okay, okay. okay. Maybe she knows uh, someone to have uh, another yeah, gate, another door. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh. Okay. Maybe she knows someone who uh, can uh, build another door when. Yeah.